have lived my life working with the talented creative musicians of New Mexico. I feel very privileged to be surrounded by the vast beauty of this great state. The panoramic views, geographical and cultural diversity, and the wonderful weather create a foundation for life fulfillment that would be hard to equal. So many of the friends I have made are not famous for their music, but feel fortunate, as I do, that we have been chasing our dream in the land of enchantment. The pursuit of a dream can be quite a roller coaster ride. The high point is best captured when you make music with your friends. thinking was Herb Alpert and Santana in a band could make some pretty neat music and so I put together a band and I started just recording songs and, and we were doing them really formatted to trumpets, electric guitar, acoustic guitar, and one keyboard player. And uh, it, it started working right away. I mean actually the first New Mexico album came together fairly rapidly. half the songs, the other half were standards, but they just worked, everything worked. And it was, a, it was really inspiring to play the music and put it together. I've always loved New Mexico just for what it is, and just the, the, the weather, the people being here. I've had to go to the other areas like Nashville and California to try to sell music, and that's a very difficult job to do. I can't tell you how many record companies said to me, go back to New Mexico, do something original, do something different. Then you take it to them, and they'll say, that's not selling. And that's the way it goes. So I'm hoping to see uh, more opportunity for music that's developed in areas, like I, like I would think we do in New Mexico, uh, to have a chance to be something new for people around the world. And uh, hopefully the new technologies will take us that way. My dad looks at this he looks at pictures of the Southwest and he goes, and I'll show him this beautiful scene of Black Abiquiu up at Ghost Ranch, and all those pretty rocks and stuff. And I lay it out, big panorama for him. He looks at it and he goes, for the life of me, I don't know why you want to live out there. <laughs> what my dad says. Look her of man in search of God. And all the saints along the road are the first to be plowed under. All the little artists kissing their gallery bosses. The highway lowrider headline is covered with crossing. You're right. Right. 
Played in the fraternity party since I was 14. I was doing the gator on the floor and drinking beer and at 14, you know, and uh, uh, don't let my daddy see this. And, uh, and uh, doing that circuit, and, uh, I was the Blue Eyed Soul Brother. I was a lead singer doing soul music down south in Alabama. If The local music influences me here. Um, everything does. It's you know you just can't just be able to see the stars and be able to look out and see the horizon, see 100 miles away. Back east, it's just gray skies and uh, trees. It's beautiful, but too many people. Hiding out in the hill, they be cursing the tourist the dollar. Uh, I like my peace and quiet, and I like uh, my garden, and uh, like growing my flowers and my vegetables, and uh, the whole bit is just great out here. And fishing. mine turquoise here. I use it in my jewelry. I can go out and just break the rocks with my hands with a sledgehammer or a star drill and just pop off a rock and go and take it and cut it and put it in a piece of jewelry. This is church service right here. I feel like I this is close to God's work. Thank you. I've always been interested in music. My mom tells me stories of getting letters from the kindergarten teacher uh, about how you should steer Katie in a certain direction, you know, in music, because she was showing signs of talent. What a beautiful morning you brought to me today. With every little breath and every little sigh, your lullaby of life begins. Back in, in Roswell, I was in this beauty pageant, and I actually made it to some of the, the finalists. And we were each handed an envelope with a question, which we were supposed to answer spontaneously. And my question was, uh, what do you want to do with your life? What is your goal? And I sort of jokingly said to the audience, uh, I said, well, I want to be famous. I'll hold you and love you and guide you to your dreams your daddy's pride and joy and your mama's brand new song to sing and it's neat for me to be involved in the new mexico scene and having been raised here and being able to to grow up here and, and feel the things so deeply, it's a wonderful place to be. In Albuquerque, you can be standing next to the chemo theater, eating a, an egg roll uh, on your way to a Greek festival while a lowrider comes by with 
Jesus painted on the hood. I mean, you can have all these things going on and, and, and then go to a country western gig and then go listen to a jazz band. I was influenced by uh, listening to you know, Phil Oak, Sonny Terry, Brown and McGee, Lightning Hopkins, a variety of kind of folk. And there was blues, and then there were some that were a little more on the countryside, listening to you know Pete Seeger and old Woody Guthrie stuff, Lead Belly. These were all very strong influences. And then as music went on, you kind of go out and you test different waters and you learn from different things that have evolved. You seem to lose What I enjoy doing is, in this realm, it's kind of like, say, country, folk blues. It's hard to define. I've kind of quit trying to. Um, but it really looks like I've kind of come full circle. I'm very comfortable uh, either just playing the guitar and singing, or um, there's, a, there's always a certain amount of twang that I just, that's there. I can't get rid of it. Um, and there's also a growl, kind of a bluesy feel that's there. And I've just learned to kind of not fight it and just let it happen. And uh, and that seems to be when the music's at its best. Voice, it rings like a gunshot from that weapon that you use so well. And with deadly skill, she don't aim to kill. She just makes his life live in hell. Oh, she is gone. I used to think, uh, you know, gosh, I've got to make it. I've got to get over this hurdle. I've got to do something. Uh, and I was kind of putting all my eggs in that basket. And uh, that's where, when I stepped away from it for a while, I realized, uh, or I guess I remembered why I got into music and what made music so interesting. And that was the, the fun of, of taking a handful of chords and cranking out a song and, and expressing a feeling, happy, sad, whatever. look back on that you think well that's why I got into it now I'm under this pressure where I feel like I need a hit record I need to be signed you know need to be on Sugar Hill or I need to be on some label around the record or someone's got to love me out there and it takes the fun out of it for, life, for me to try and be a George Strait or a Garth Brooks it ain't gonna happen Clovis, New Mexico. I remember specifically Roy Orbison was my hero. I thought, I mean, back in that time, people were battling on whether Roy Orbison was the king or Elvis Presley was the king, and of course they were both so new. But I never forget one night I went to see at Marshall Junior High. They had an auditorium there, and uh, there was a big, big rock show. I mean, and uh, Roy Orbison was playing, and I never forget that the, that they would they light the stage. Back then there was very little stage production, but. They would light the stage with these blue lights, and Roy Orbison and them had on our red coats or whatever, but they looked purple. But I remember seeing that, and he was playing uh, one, of his, one of his songs, Rock House, I think. And I looked at that and I said, this is what I'm going to do. Like a knife. Then out of nowhere, did you really want my kid?
kisses that we dance too close. Do you think of me at night? If it's just a moment of craziness with you, we love me and die on the vine. Can we survive the danger of just a thrill or two? Making love in this moment in time. I sometimes think maybe I was born a musician, but I really think being in Clovis and being around the excitement of new music focused me. Music was the driving force. I, I realized that it had to come first. I'm back on the street and I'm trying to survive This hurricane your kiss starts inside me I can't make it stop and I can't let it go I've got to have you laying beside me I start off with an idea and I'm excited about it and I work on it and I love it until I hate it. And then when I hate it, I have to put it away and then I have to go on down the road until I find another piece of music I love so I can work it to death and hate it. But then in time, it's, it's all happens in time, I look back and I'll say, I'm really glad I did that. That was pretty nice, you know. Clovis, because of Norman Petty in his studio, was sort of an unusual place. I remember once hearing um, Peggy Sue or That'll Be the Day on the radio, and I, I was thinking, that, that was recorded right here, I mean, right in, in this little bitty town where I live. It was a very inspiring part of what got me into it full time. My recording in New Mexico has been very largely recording Latin Hispanic bands uh, all through New Mexico. A few years ago, I uh, recorded uh, with Mariachi Tanampa, and that sort of began a, a, a working relationship with, with that group. This Mariachi, the, the guys you work with, is a second family. And uh, you just hang, if you're not at home, you're with them. Our intentions are to uh, make a living, a good living doing what we enjoy doing, uh, kind of like, you know, you look forward to a job more when you're doing what you want to do. You know, for me, for my profession, mariachi music is not well known throughout the United yeah, so States. So, uh, New Mexico is a prime location for that. And being that it's my hometown and all my family's here, I just have never had no desire to leave. to be here in New Mexico. I lived two, for two years in Texas and two years in California. And I always come back. Mariachi music uh, has adapted uh, classical uh, pieces that have been played for a hundred years, you know? So it's nothing new, the idea of, of uh, combining styles of music.
Country music and, and mariachi music is very similar. And there's so many things similar about it because a lot of it's folk music, a lot of it's uh, stories. And uh, one day I was recording an album here and um, uh, I, the mariachis were playing a rhythm track and I was sitting there almost singing one of my songs to the track and I was thinking, well, this would be a great thing to do. The Western has a lot of tragedy and so does Mexican, you know, the trains, the trains and, <laughs> yeah. and it kind of, it kind of made sense. The different styles of music coming together is, I don't think, nothing too new, but it's, it's a little more accepted now than maybe in the past. The chilies are in my They're all strung up and turning red Look where I've been, mama I'm a river overrunning my bed Sangre de Cristo, mama You raised me in your shade It's time I was leaving, mama Every tune around here's been played No cowboys around, mama Mama, the ditch is as dry as a bone But the corn made it through, Mama You'll make out just fine The time is right now, Mama For reading your Bible and whiling away your time Rio Grande running fast and deep Braskin boy lost in his sleep First chance I get This has been the best ride The best ride yet Mose McCormick, come on out here Mose McCormick I will spend many years, Mama Since I left this night wall Yeah, they're crumbling away, Mama Yeah, they're fixing the She's growing old, mama And we never forget the things we've seen Rio Grande running fast and deep Braskin child running to sleep Cross your river first chance I get This has been the best ride The best ride yet This has been the best ride, mama Mama, the best ride yet I've worked with so many bands and I've done so many projects. I've seen hopes raised and dreams shattered by things so unexplainable in the music business. But there's one thing I can tell you. When the music's right and the friends are right and the moment's right, nothing beats playing music. <laughs>